Thank you, Fred. Thank you to the Times. Thank you to everyone here for uh, for taking the time to get involved and, and to uh, attend today. Um, I think this is a very important election. I think the future of Scotch Plains literally hangs in the balance. Um, the reason why I say that is that history has a way of repeating itself. Um, what happens in the past will tend to happen in the for it going forward unless someone actually actively stops it. When the Democrats took control last year, here's what we saw. We saw every service provider to the town fired, which just legal alone cost us an extra $50,000 more than it did the previous year. We saw a township manager that had been here for six months fired, and we ended up having to pay a $20,000 severance package to him. We looked at the library, and the library budget was cut to the point where they couldn't stay open seven days a week, and they had to eliminate service uh, hours on Sunday and Monday morning. Beyond that, in all candor, I can't point to a single thing of accomplishment last year. I really can't. This year, in contrast, we restored the library budget. We had the lowest tax increase in over a decade, which, by the way, was the second lowest in all of Union County. We started work at the Terry Luzu property. We started work at Brookside. Unfortunately, without the capital bond ordinance, it was somewhat delayed and stalled out. We have made efforts to improve services like leaf pickup, snow removal, and pothole repairs. All of those pieces of equipment were in the bond ordinance. Contrary to our challengers, adding more people to the bottom line cost of the town is not improving services, it's, improved, it's increasing cost. If we can get a piece of equipment that can replace a human being, that, human, that piece of equipment doesn't require health benefits and it doesn't require a, uh, a pension plan. So at the end of the day, we're looking for ways to save money, not, not increase cost, um, by adding employees to the town. I think the other thing that's important is that our township manager, from the very beginning, has had one goal in mind, and that is to improve the efficiency of the town, improve our credit rating, so that we can actually uh, move forward. We created the downtown development, and we've created a lot of new programs. The most important issue, however, in this year's election is the police merger. The joint meeting is bad for Scotch Plains. It's great for our friends and family, but for us to be responsible for paying 75% paying of the cost and only have one of three votes with no 2% cap and the legal obligation to pay whatever budget is presented, I fear that that becomes a patronage mill for the County of Union. And despite the fact that the allusion was made to the Board of Ed, we have proportional representation on the Board of Ed, whereby we pay 75% and we have 75% of the seats on the board. Thank you once again.